what is going on everybody? people welcome back to the channel guys so it's been a week since we last were out here and we set up the game cameras we had that new wild game innovation terra uh, uh game camera that has the video and stuff on that we put out here so today we're back out here it's been a week later and we're going to check all the uh, game cameras see what we got on the camera see what deer we got what footage we got you know all the gritty nitty details but i also want to make this a little bit more interesting instead of just checking sd cards so a lot of y'all especially hunters i know especially me have questions on what is the best deer attract and what's the best deer bait what really brings the deer in so i thought what better way to like solve this problem and you know answer the question than to do it myself so this week what we're going to do is we're going to test out two different types of deer attractants the first one is right here this is one that a lot of people have done reviews on it seems to have really great reviews people love using it and it looks like it works and the videos i've seen from other youtubers doing it it really does work and this is the buck bourbon 110 proof now i gotta say this stuff is it's nice it looks really really nice if you look inside it's got corn it looks like it has like some sweet feed and other stuff on there for the deer and i gotta say guys looking at the back of this it looks better than the stuff you see on most dog food like the crude protein crude fat it's got fiber calcium phosphorus salt it is just crazy like all the ingredients back here just look a1 and it's gonna be my luck the other oh, area yeah see just a1 stuff guys so they really take the time and the effort and to put the good stuff in here and it smells really sweet you can kind of smell it through the bag and i love that it's got these two finger hole pouches because that makes it carrying it through the woods so much easier than to put a big old bag of corn on your back and constantly switch shoulders while you're walking down to your stand or your feeder it just it makes it a pain so having these two finger holes right here is really really nice to have um and the packaging is great i love the packaging it's super tight super nice super neat and a lot of times you don't see that with deer products it's just something thrown together but i gotta say this one looks really 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 nice um Oh, and the price. I forgot to talk about the price. The price for this was $10. Not bad. They had another one that was uh, caramel apple and molasses, and it was like a 40-pound bag for like 20 bucks, which still isn't bad, but I wanted to go with the $10 bag just to test it out. So that is bait number one that we got for today. Bait number two is a very popular one. It's a liquid, and it is deer cane. They sell it in powdered form and feed form and liquid form. Now, the liquid form is pretty much just straight molasses. That's all it is. It's pretty much just straight molasses and sweetener. So what I thought what we'd do is I'm gonna put down the 110 proof uh, buck bourbon in a pile. And then on top of that pile, I'm gonna pour some of this stuff on it so we got some double trouble coming in. And we're just gonna put it right here in front of the camera and see what comes and eats it. Hopefully it's a big old buck, but we're gonna be testing to see like how long it takes the deer to smell it, how long it takes them to get here, will they eat it all, you know, it's just stuff like that to see how well this product actually works. Is it worth the $10? Is it worth the $8? Oh yeah, by the way, I got this for $8 at uh, Tractor Supply as well. They had it on sale, get you some. So we're just gonna put it right here in front of the feeder and just see what happens. And then uh, we're also gonna put some more down at the other feeder and move the other camera back. So we're gonna have just eyes everywhere just watching this stuff and see how deer react to it. So it's gonna be awesome. I really hope y'all enjoy that. That way I give you some insight on, you know, how baits work, which ones to use. So yeah, just this week, we're just using this stuff. And then next week we're gonna use something completely different. Probably try mineral blocks or something like that. Crushed apple powder, just, you never know. Set. Now I'm gonna set y'all down up here on the tripod because I am going to start putting out the feed that I told y'all about. So we got the feeder right here behind us. I'm thinking I'm gonna probably put it right here on the ground. So I'm gonna bend y'all down a little bit. So here's what we're gonna do. That did not work at all. all right, try to open it that way. lost it <laughs> all right so here we go oh that stuff smells so sweet get up in there i gotta see this stuff oh yeah this looks amazing some good looking stuff so yeah i'm gonna pour half of it right here in front of the game camera
All right, there is our 110 proof right there. Now for the deer cane. Freshly, not even opened yet. Still got the silver on it. Just gonna put a little hole. Just make a little hole like that for it to come out of. Don't need the whole hole. Just trying to be conservative here. go poured it all over there so now we got our really nice pile right here of our feed got it right in front of our camera right in front of our feeder so we are good to go on this spot now we'll give you all an update in a week's time where we go over all the video all the photos and everything that we've seen that shows up to eat this pile right here now we're only going to run the cameras until the pile disappears once the pile is gone cameras stop and we stop the footage and everything but until then we're going to be constantly rolling constantly going we're gonna see what comes up here, what eats it, what doesn't, and all that great stuff. It's gonna be a great experiment to see if these high dollar baits, well, say high dollar, $10 baits are actually worth it. So, we will see. I mean, that stuff smells amazing. You can smell it from here. I'm about three, four feet away from it, and it is just like a sweet aroma. It is just absolutely crazy. It, it really does smell like syrup and molasses. That is just the only best way to like, describe it is a sweet, sugary molasses smell. So I have a good feeling about it. I think the deer are actually gonna love this stuff, especially with this location right next to the creek. So we got water, we got fresh corn, and then we got some sweet feed with some uh, deer cane on it. Oh, it's gonna be great. You're gonna love it. Now that sun is starting to shine through those trees there. So on to the next spot, my man. My man, that was stupid. Just on to the next spot. Yeah, so I have a really good feeling about it. It smells really good. So uh, now that we're done here, I'm going to pack up all my stuff and we're going to move down to the clearing to the next spot. We're going to set it up all over again. And we're going to check the cellular uh, camera. I say check it, but I already know what's on it. It's not much, but blah, 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 blah. All right, we made it out here to the second game camera. Just checked it. We had a nice buck come through last night. I mean, this morning around 5 o'clock in the morning. So... I don't know how many points he was. The picture was kind of blurry. I'll show y'all the picture right here. But yeah, I really can't see it all that well. So the camera's right here on this tree wa wa watching the pathway like I showed y'all on the last video. So probably about right here, I'm gonna put the sweet feed and stuff out real quick. And I'm gonna get on out of here because I don't wanna mess up the area too much like I have been lately. I want it to be as untouched as I possibly can. So I'm gonna get to work on it real quick and then I'm gonna get out of here and hopefully we can get some big old big bucks out here tonight. That would be amazing. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dump out the rest of this foot bourbon right here. All right, so we got our deer cane out. We got our buck bourbon 110 proof laid out right here in front of the camera. So if anything comes through here tonight, we'll be able to pick it up, show y'all directly how this stuff works. 
so I really, I really have a good feeling about this. Uh, we'll check back in on this. Like I said, probably in a week's time, they'll give the deers and hogs, whatever else is gonna come eat this, a whole week to come find it and chow down and hopefully get some good video and good, good photos for y'all and get some really good bucks on camera. That'd be great. So I'm gonna bounce on out of here and I will see y'all in a week's time and uh, show y'all the, the results of what this stuff does. So catch y'all in a week, five days, five days, not seven, five. All right, guys, it has officially been five days since we set out the game cameras and put out the buck bourbon with the deer cane. Uh, went out, I got the SD cards, brought them home, uploaded all the photos. Now, unfortunately, for some reason, I have no idea why. I don't know if it was a battery issue or SD card issue, but camera number two down at the clearing got zero photos. I have no idea what happened. It is the weirdest thing ever. But uh, when I was out there getting SD cards, uh, all the piles with the buck bourbon and the deer came were completely gone. There was nothing left. Even the grass below it was completely demolished. So that is great news. But fortunately enough, I have a lot of videos to show y'all from that first spot down at the creek. And it is just jam packed with videos. Uh, there was tracks, there was trails. I saw some hog tracks, I saw some deer tracks. So. Fingers crossed, guys, that we have some really good photos on here to watch with y'all. Uh, I'm going to start playing. I'm going to watch with y'all in the background. Uh, this first video we got right here, it looks like a giant crow eyeballing the pile of deer cane and buck bourbon pretty, pretty hard. It looks like he's starving. So we're going to start right there from the very beginning and uh, just watch it through. And at the end, we're going to talk about it and uh, see if we really think deer cane and buck bourbon is worth the extra money to go out and buy versus, you know, the actual corn. And in the background of the buck bourbon, you can see I have a pile with a feeder with actual corn in it. So we're going to see what the deer and uh, hogs go for more. So without any further ado, let's watch it. He's eyeballing it. Looking at it. Nah. Decided not to. Not for him. And that possum is just going at it. He is really enjoying himself. What? We got a doe? I have not seen a doe all season, guys. That is great news. Great. Good, good, good. I was really afraid that all the does in our area and on our property were completely gone because I haven't seen them all year. But that is a relief knowing. Oh, next video. Got two doe. Wow. That is absolutely insane. That one looks like a little bit of a younger doe. Pretty though, real pretty. And they are going at it on that stuff, man. That is insane. I had my doubts, I'm not gonna lie. I did have my doubts, but now, I mean, the video speaks for itself, you know? You, you can't lie about that. They are going to town on that pile. 
still there. Wait, 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 pause, pause. What is that? What is that? Is that a third dough? Get out of here. <laughs> that is a third dough. Wow. That's it. I'm a believer. Three dough. I went from seeing no dough to three dough. That's. That's pretty impressive. And they're just hanging out here too, man. They are just hanging out. Looks like they got scared from something. Look a little scared. Wait. And there's our big boy, code name Bushwhacker. Now, I don't know if you uh, follow my YouTube shorts, but uh, Bushwhacker here got himself tangled up in some vines and uh, completely destroyed the feeder <laughs> not too long ago. Didn't get hurt. He's perfectly fine. He's still in the area. I didn't even scare him off at all. But man, he is just a beautiful looking buck. Really good body. Really good rack. He's got a split G2. Now, uh, Loki here from uh, last year, he uh, had a split G2, but it broke off, I guess, during a fight. And it might have been with this one right here. Well, I think those videos uh, pretty much speak for themselves, guys. Uh, haven't seen a doe all year, and then as soon as I put that pile out two days later, I have three doe out there at the creek. That is absolutely amazing. Uh, that takes the win for me. I'm an official believer now after seeing that. You know, you can't beat that. And then we have Bushwhacker come out looking, you know, gigantic as heck. And that's another plus. Hogs went up to it. And I was really surprised the hogs didn't go for it. They eyeballed it. And we had that uh, white one sniffing it pretty hard. But he did not go for it at all. Another surprise was that possum eating on it for so long. He was really enjoying it. I was, I was pretty surprised about that. I didn't think possums would go for that. But uh, that one did. And he liked it a lot. 
Um, if y'all have any good experiences using Buck Bourbon or the Deer Cane, please let me know in the comments. If y'all like seeing me do these videos where I take the, uh, the bait out there and I test it and put it in front of the camera and you can see what eats it and what doesn't, please let me know in the comments. I would love to go out there and uh, get new baits and test them out for y'all. That'd be really fun to do. Uh, deer season 2022, guys, is looking like it is going to be amazing. Rifle season for me here in East Texas starts November 5th. That is on a Saturday, and you can guarantee 100% I will be in that blind. I already have it set up and ready to go. It is going to be absolutely amazing. I cannot wait. But, guys, without any... But guys, uh, that is all. That is have for, all I have for you today. If you really enjoyed watching this video, please give me the thumbs up. Uh, if you have any uh, questions or concerns or comments, please leave them in the comments below. If you haven't already, please hit that bell for me so you can get notified when more awesome videos like this drop. Guys, y'all keep it real. I will catch y'all on the next one. Peace.